Welcome everyone. Once again, this is Everyone Loves Pirates, and we are playing Space Engineers with Red Talon. Say hi, Red Talon. Hey, how you doing? Cool. So last episode, uh, what did we do? Uh, we basically just got the, uh, we were working on this uh, small ship for drilling, but we actually ran out of the parts we needed because uh, yeah. we, uh, we've basically just started with bare bones stuff. So we went ahead and drilled for some of the spare parts. It actually took us a while, but now... Yep. We should be set for at least a couple minutes, hopefully enough to just build this uh, ship to give us a good head start. Cool. Um, I noticed that you don't have any uranium. So I'm going to grab some. Uh, I don't in the ship yet, but it's not. Uh, I still have to connect it to a cargo container so I can actually put them in there because all of the reactors are actually facing inward. No, 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 this will be great. Oh, you don't even have thrusters on here yet, do you? No, like, uh, all the... The car... Or not the car... The reactors are facing inward, and they're connected to all together with these conveyors, and then I'm just gonna connect all those to a, uh, cargo container, so you can put the stuff in it. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw it in this, uh, drill for now. Okay. Or this cargo container that's connected to the drill. That way, once you hook it up, it'll automatically hook up. Yeah, usually uh, I connect all of it by conveyors, but... Since I don't have to, because this is uh, just uses the small ones, I'll just keep it simple. But yeah, I, I've I've done that in the past where I've built my my ship and then I throw in some uranium as my head is right next to a thruster and it suddenly turns on and hurts me. Yeah. Ever done that? Yeah, yeah. Also, be a. Uh... Make sure you keep an eye on your urge to murder me for a few minutes, because I'm carrying pretty much all of the parts we have in my pockets. Yes, we, we've we've uh, recorded these three back to back at least. So um, if you guys are hankering for me to kill Red Town, I haven't heard about it yet. Private message. Private message. <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll be reading. So I see that one, but I don't see it coming. So at least make it a surprise, you know. It has to be a plausible deniability. Oh, that was totally an accident, man. I can't believe I did that again. What, what about these comments? <laughs> oh, I, I don't even look at my comments. You know me. <laughs> well, I read all of mine, and I, I appreciate them. So, uh, you know, I just leave a, leave a nice comment every once in a while, you know? People know I was being facetious. I'm good with my comments. I love the commenters. I wouldn't do I, this without the commoners. The commoners? Well, I wouldn't Commoner. call them that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of beneath me, really. <laughs> oh, I need the interior place. That's the issue. Uh, I, I think I grabbed all of them, so I'll just put some of them back in there. I got, I got plenty. I made plenty of them. I just didn't have them on my person. There's actually be enough to finish this, I think. You don't need the display. Oh, you need the display now. They changed it, I think. I... let me check. I might have a couple on me. I have one display. Do you need more? Uh, I only need one display. Alright. Uh, and then I trip and die and it goes into space. There you go. You finished it. Well, you can set it to your there as a thing. Or did you just want to hear the satisfying ding? I wanted to hear the satisfying ding. Yeah, I'm stuck in the hole. I understand what you're talking about now. So we'll need to fix that as well. That is, that is the best sound effect ever. I just want that as a ringtone. Just the satisfaction of finishing <laughs> yeah. an item. You're always happy when you hear that. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Today's gonna be a good day. Oh, then you're so the bill's glass. See, I never do, like, big projects, so... I, uh... I, I have a lot of hours into this game, so I, uh... I go for... I go for the gold every time. I try to make everything look great and function great. So I I usually spend a lot of time on aesthetics. Like, I have a lot of glass everywhere, usually. So I need girders. I... Have, no, the, those are small. Male girders. Uh, how do I... Oh, there they are. Eh, 100 sounds good. Yeah, I always go for stacks of 100. We got, we got plenty of, uh, of iron. <laughs> I might not have enough glass. Let's build some more glass. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so, so I'm gonna... don't laugh at me, folks, as I try to figure out how to do <laughs> Windows. Um, okay, this is uh, this is not gonna have a connector on it. It won't need one. It's just basically it's gonna poop out all of the uh, the the ore it has into a connector oh, no. or a collector. Sorry, I just fell off the edge. You were saying? Uh, for for this small ship with the uh, well, with the welder, we're gonna put a connector on it, but because it would be so uh, so big and not really fit well on us, we're just gonna have the small connector. You know, the one that just you know poops it out, and then it's gonna just shoot that into a collector for this. Since okay. we don't actually we don't we don't actually have to put anything into this ship, we just have to take stuff out of it. But so the connector just... moves things so much faster. Oh, but you're gonna have a connector. Uh, just the small one. Oh, I think so I think the large one it's the same up. rate. I think it's the large one it's the same rate, but it's just uh, the large one can shoot out uh, parts, but the small one can't. But this will never actually need to shoot out parts, so it just kind of saves a lot of materials on our part. But yeah, you will have to like sit there as it poops it out. So it was annoying. I had to put a block in order to put the glass down. Uh, well, if it's a station, so if you remove the block, it'll still be there, so no worries. It won't just float off in a grid? I think it will. Nope. It's, uh, if it's part of a station, it won't float off unless it's... Actually, no. But it, it won't be connected station, anymore. Float. I mean, we could try it. Let's see what happens. Well, if it's for the glass, you won't even need to. Um, it doesn't seem to be moving. Yeah, for... You only want it to be connected if it's actually, like, something you need to be connected. If it's just, like, aesthetics or glass or something, don't even worry about it. I've done that plenty of times, like, uh, with, uh, you know with, uh, the cover that you use for, like, uh, handrails? Like, the, just the small cover wall? Yeah. Uh, you can't make, you can't put those on corners. Like, you can't have one facing... 90 degrees and then one facing like you know 180 degrees or just basically you can't have it in an L shape and the way you circumvent that is just by having it uh, basically float in space just the other way around. If, uh, I've done it plenty of times but I can't really explain it very well but maybe when we actually do build a station I will actually be able to show people. But yeah. it's it's just a good way like basically all you need to know is with stations nothing has to be connected if it's just, uh, if it doesn't, like, if it's not a functional thing, like, obviously your reactor has to be connected, but, like, this glass, it doesn't need to be connected. Because it can just, it won't move if it's part of a station. That's just all you gotta remember. Things will not move. They will stay where they are, and if it's in relation to your other stuff, then you don't even have to worry about it. It's fine. Cool. Yes, it's, I'm very bad at explaining things with words, that's why I tend to try to just show people. But unfortunately I can't because we don't have the materials. Use and words. I can uh, English! There, is there a uh, connector on the bottom of the assembler? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah it's at the very bottom. It's, it's in the just... back, right? I think it's in the back. Oh wait, uh, for the... Uh... Oh, what are you trying to do? I thought you were talking about my ship. I... No, I, for the assembler, I think there's okay. one underneath. I think it's in the back underneath. So, like, there. Nope. It's on a, but it's probably on the other side, then. Uh, but that might fall. Yeah, something. you said you said connector. We haven't built one yet, so I thought you just meant the one on the ship. Uh, so let's see. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you guys didn't see that. <laughs> Nothing to Not see actually. here. <laughs> Build a display. Do I have any? Ah, we need gold. I got gold. I put it in there. It's uh, either not refined or it's. Oh, it's not refined yet because there's a lot of stuff in here. Jeez. Gold is AU. I knew that. I didn't have to read it. There it is. It's actually on the front. I never took a chemistry class. I, I actually did. I kind of liked it. I, only, I realized I only had to take one science class in high school. Like, you know what? I think I would get more use out of physics. I had I to take probably three. didn't. <laughs> I I had to take three. I for both uh, math and science, I had to take three. So I did.
ditched math on the last year and I took a uh, forensics class. It was actually oh, a lot of fun. Sounds cool. Yeah, it was. We uh, we one day we just watched CSI because we were like, screw it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool classes. Okay, but I need 16 I motors. 16 motors. I, I have 80. <laughs> I, I kind of just grabbed everything. So How many do you have? I have 80. 80 gonna... motors? Yeah. I'm gonna go wow, I didn't realize we made that many motors. So I made I'll... some earlier I probably didn't have to make. I, I, uh, I always, when I'm empty, I'll always put at least a stack of 100 in my assemblers just in case I need more. So yeah, I, we had like 80 left over. I just grabbed them when I was building this. But I won't need them for at least a little while. Um, e construction components. Thank goodness I do not oh, I have to manually weld all of these for five minutes. I can just instantly do it. It's so much better. Yeah. Makes survival bearable for videos, at least. Yeah. Okay. I, I actually watch a dude who's, uh, he's really good at survival, but he, uh, for some reason, he, uh, he only ever plays with, like, the worst settings, because he, that's the only way he has fun. He puts everything at the lowest settings. Mm. I, I can't even, I can't even imagine, it's just so inconvenient. It's not even, like, difficult, it just takes time. Yeah, that's it. Like, I wouldn't mind just by myself doing it, because I can just kind of zone out, and that's fine. It's, you know, but I wouldn't ask anyone to watch that. Oh, yeah. Well, he, he edits it, but I, oh, oh, like, oh. I would never edit it. Yeah. I re As my viewers know, and you've come to learn, I refuse to edit anything. Things get recorded and go straight up. Oh. I think everything should be connected here. I think all I gotta do is put the- ah oh crap, I forgot to put the uh, gyroscope. I'll just have to put one on the outside. But I just gotta make gyroscopes and thrusters and also a ore detector, because you kinda need that for- Oh yeah. Items. Detector components might be interesting too. I don't know if we have what we need to make those. Um, we'll see. Actually, while I'm over here, I'll just check and see what we do. Uh, we need platinum. We have platinum. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, do we have cool. ingots of it yet? Well, you can just put it in the front. We only we do not. You should make it really yeah. quickly. Cause I'll we throw it in front for you. Okay. There we go. So. Yeah. And then I need. Super energy low, but now my cockpit's actually functional, so I'll just hop inside of it. Oh, nice. That's always convenient. Oh, yeah. I love it when I rotate something the correct direction the first try. <laughs> Especially when I don't check the little cheater cube that tells you which button does which. Actually, uh... Because my laptop does not have those keys in the proper place, I had to remap them, so they are all on the numpad, and I, it's actually much better because oh. they are they are exactly uh, it, it's it's really easy to tell which direction something goes because when it just says like home, you're like where is that? I gotta find it. But like here, but like you know how like you have W A S D and then you have Q and E to move around in the game. Yeah, it's it's like that, but for rotating. So it's really easy to instantly tell which direction something's going. So if you can actually bind it properly, it's really nice. convenient. Yeah. Like I so got I, to the point where, like, it just made sense in my brain. Like I kind of memorized it and didn't have to think about it. But you have to line yourself up properly each time, or else they change. Yeah. So I'll come in at like a weird angle, and then everything's completely different. And, yeah. yeah, I've I gotten used to that. I I had to get used to it because. When I did creative, if you control click stuff, uh, it also does that based on which direction you're facing, so you gotta make sure you're always facing at the right angle. Also, I think I did the top and bottom of this bit odd, so I'll just fix that. Okay, so the large cargo container is hooked up now. Nice. Via tubes. Um, and it will happily move stuff 
from either the assembler or the refinery into it. I should save quite a lot of time, especially since we got that uh, thing on the floor. But we still can't move things between the refinery. Oh no, now, now it is letting me move stuff between the refinery and the assembler. Yeah, it's just part of the weird update. They still gotta fix it. Well, I think that like that helped. That fixed it. Okay. Because it's working every time now. Yeah, I just think it's something to do with conveyors. So maybe yeah, that does do something to it. It's like routing everything through the large cargo container now, and it works. Nice. Okay, so um, actually, while we're here, let's, let's uh, make you some detector components. How much you need? Uh, let me check it. It's probably only one. It usually is. Uh, it's detector. It needs... Yeah, it just needs one for the small ship. Okay, you got it. It's there. It's built. Nice. We can build I... everything except for explosives right now. I think we had, like, a small amount of magnesium. But yeah, we should be good. It, yeah, it probably hasn't been uh, done yet since it takes forever to do magnesium. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing we don't have in there right now. We, we will... Well, we don't need we, by the, Yeah, by the time we can, will actually need it, we'll definitely have some, just because you need it for uh, bullets for the turrets. Ah, yes. Quite. Also, a fun thing for the viewers, uh, when you make your turrets, don't set them to shoot moving objects, because you are also a moving <laughs> object, and you'll die instantly. I learned that the hard way. Yeah, the actual part, the actual ship is almost completely done. All I gotta do is add the thrusters in a good position so that they won't get hit on stuff. And uh, some gyroscopes, and we're good to go. Just go ahead and put some lights on top of it so I can see better. I'm getting an OCD. I, I always do. I'm extremely particular in building games. Like, it's the worst in Starbound when they have really tiny units, because I have to make... Every time I make a room, it's like 10 by 30 blocks, and I count it out in my head every time. <laughs> uh, it's, it's awful. It's not, like, bad for the game. It's just me. Like, if anybody was watching, I think they'd just hate it. I actually did try to record a video of it, and that was just mostly me like, so guys, I'm just playing Starbucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, I, that's why I didn't upload it. But I, I actually do want to show off some of my Starbound uh, buildings, because I, I actually have a lot of fun. Sure. So. I'm going to come show everybody this, because they've been watching me do mundane things, and this looks really cool. I like the fancy little... Hold. Yeah, I pride myself on aesthetics. Still no thrusters. Yeah, like, I'm, I gotta, that's what I gotta figure out. I gotta set it up so that it won't clip on anything when it's actually going into uh, tunnels, and also so that the, the thrusters don't actually hit the ship. Like, yeah. the reverse thrusters are gonna be the biggest problem. So I, I'm just trying to figure yeah, no that out. No one really needs reverse thrusters. Thank you, that saved me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, whatever I can do to help. I realize now that the lights on top make it look like it has googly eyes, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see. I kind of like got past, like I always wanted to make miners that would just fit in the hole too, and I kind of ended up just getting past that and building wings on them and putting lights way out to the side so I could see what I was mining better. Because I get yeah. in these tunnels, and then I couldn't even see what I was mining anymore. And yeah, then I got why, rid of the it, thruster issue, too. Oh, yeah. I usually just focus on... Uh, when, if I'm actually going to make a tunneler, then I usually just make a tunneler. But for now, we're just ma mo mainly getting a mining ship, but I want to be capable of at least getting somewhat in without having to worry about hitting things. Yeah. So if you have any good ideas of how to make the thrusters not hit each other, it'd be good. I'm just going to kind of fool around for a bit, see if I can think of anything good. Oh, there's a 
That part is cycling through the same stuff. Like, there's some things I just don't mess with in this game, and I have no idea, like, how to, uh, to do them. I actually gotta grab some uh -huh. steel tubes. Do you have the large steel tubes? Because I don't have any on I me. do not. You may need to build some. Okay, I'll just make a handful of them. Ah. Okay. I think I kind of have an idea. Hopefully they don't hit it. The unfortunate thing is with uh, small ships, I can't test the thrusters because it'll just go off into space. Uh, if you come over to this side, you might see what I kind of got as a setup. Hopefully this is far enough away that it won't burn it, but uh, yeah, here's the thrusters. You think that might work? Um, yeah, I think that would be fine. Okay. Just be careful if you're going into here. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. doesn't get burned off. I, when I'm doing it by myself, I usually don't have a problem, but when I play with other people, I gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, I've, uh... Hey, why I've don't you make this ship, uh, entirely where our, I'm partial owner, too? Oh, I... okay. Well, I think it's whenever you place a block down, so I, I'll have to do it when it's done, but uh, I will just go ahead and do whatever's still done and set it to you, too. Okay. There you go. Oh, wait, did I, did I set something to on? Oh, show on HUD off. They had a new option that lets you see a specific block as if it was a beacon. I don't really know quite why, maybe just to fix it, but uh, you can set all of your blocks to do that, and I can't even imagine how just terrible that looks. Just every block telling you what it is. Yeah. Uh, what did I come over here for? <laughs> I forgot already. Oh yeah, thrusters. There's... Oh wait, that's the detector component. The component. So I gotta just make some more thrusters real quick. Or didn't didn't you actually make some and put them inside of the ship? Let me check. Um, what did I I put uranium in there? Oh, uranium. Yeah, I actually grabbed that and put it somewhere else. Okay, I remembered there being thrusters, but for some reason we don't have any now. So I'll just make some more. Small ship, and I will make uh twenty. That should be plenty. For my viewers, I apologize. I can't remember what buttons do what, so I'm acting like an idiot. It's terrible when they uh, do an update that sets the keybinds to default because I have everything set to a custom thing. And it, it's really convenient for me, but if I forget what something is, I, it takes me like half an hour. <laughs> but I, I have really good keybinds, like uh, to use items I use F, which is a lot better than T took forever to do. Yeah, I put mine on R. That way, at least if I miss and I continue to go for T, I still hit hit it most of the time. Okay, I end up I, hitting uh, E mostly, though, and just rotate around until I figure out what I'm doing wrong. I have no me Did you just paint my ship? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was having trouble with. That's why I wanted control. I have a uh, no muscle memory for most of the keys on the keyboard, so I can't hit T without thinking about it, but I can hit like R and F without thinking about it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, That's I was right clicking your ship trying to paint it, forgetting that it was middle click. <laughs> So, that's why I apologize to the people that were screaming at their screen. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> Can you actually paint a ship that's not yours? That I don't know, since that apparently I was hitting the wrong button the whole time. That would be I an awesome... That would be an awesome way to grief, though. Like, just somebody's got a big, crazy ship, and it's gonna kill you in one hit, but you just run into it as <laughs> fast as you can and paint it purple. Take this! Ugh! Yeah, I, uh, I actually have never played, like, PvP or anything. I've basically only played with you and one other dude in, like, just co-op situations. So I've never actually really made any combat-ready vehicles. Like, I try to make my ships survivable, and they have Gatling guns because of the asteroids, but, uh, or because of the meteors. But I've never actually made a ship that needed to defend itself, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't actually know my combat capabilities. Probably not good. Yeah, I, I built one ship with like guns and rockets when I first played the game on better creative, and that's the last time I touched anything. I haven't done uh, turrets or anything. Yeah. 
in the in my creative builds that I upload online, I I make them try like I I make them and I think they be good. Like they have rockets and stuff on them. But I, I don't even know how properly those work. Like I've never actually had to fight against them. I, I just uh, I don't think PVP. It probably does. Cause I remember, but I just it's just something I think about. I just don't think it would work well because y you could just blow up anything that you make really easily unless it's just covered in heavy blocks and then it moves yeah. slow as crap. So that's why I uh, I just don't focus on it too much. Cause I don't want to make things out of heavy blocks. It just looks ugly and makes it wicked slow. With any luck, I can finish this before the video is over, and we will accomplish something. Oh, that's a good point. The video should end. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but how much time do you need? Uh, maybe like two minutes. Okay. I just gotta just do it. Okay. This is already at like 25 minutes, 26 minutes. Okay. Uh, that'll be fine. I will. People, try. people will stick around to see this, or it could be a cliffhanger. Will they do it? So where did he put the thrusters? What color did they end up being? <laughs> Tune in and find out. Or don't, but that'll make us sad. Hey, at least I accomplished uh, getting rid of the hole in the middle of the base. That was bothering everybody. Can they fit the puzzle in time? Need help? Uh, welding? Uh, not really. <laughs> Basically, all I gotta do is, uh, place, like, I, I gotta place things in specific areas, so, uh, you wouldn't even really know what to do. Well, you put the wireframe in, I could help weld it. But, oh, there's I, more I, of a joke since it takes two seconds now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, with larger ships, it still takes a minute, so it'd be nice to help. I usually just have a large field of, you know, the meshes. And then well, I'll come back to it later. Yeah, we'll have our welder ship for the large ship we build. Yeah. Um, if nothing else, just for a theme. It should not be built completely by hand. Yeah. And there's the rest of those thrusters I need. But yeah, it's, it's for the most part done. I just gotta put the gyroscopes in and then actually finish the frame. But I think it looks nice, and I think it'll actually work pretty decently. So yeah, as you... If you're looking at it, you can probably see I tried to sink these uh, thrusters in so that they aren't just sticking out. Cause I I hate that. It's uh, I've I've found ways to work around it, but I hope one day they will just add the uh, option to have a thruster that's only like one block or something. Even if it's like a crappy one, I'd still yeah. prefer that. Just for aesthetics. Also, I keep forgetting with small ships you can't actually go inside of them, so I, I, I uh, I'm kind of like reaching my arm into the ship to finish this last part. Ah huh. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> I had everything I needed except for like a small bit of construction components. I'll just grab it real quick. I can never go the right way. Is this just off by like one percentage of a color? Because there, I can see the outline of the ground in there. Also, it looks like a clown threw up. <laughs> Mission accomplished. <laughs> Operation Clown Vomit, go. I think two gyroscopes is more than enough. I used to have a problem where I would put too many gyroscopes on something and it would just flip out, but they've actually, yeah. a while ago they added the ability to actually decrease the strength of gyroscopes, so you can just, uh, it's better to actually do more than to do less, because then yeah. you can just adjust it. You always want to have some backup gyroscopes, because if you lose one, which happened to me every single time I built a ship, I would lose my gyroscopes. I'd crash or hit something in just the right way that I'd lose my darn gyroscopes. Yeah. Uh, whenever I build a large ship, I actually, at the very, at, at the cockpit, I will always put a uh, backup generator in it, not connected by conveyors or anything, just like one small hmm. car, or one small reactor just in the cockpit where it would be safe and protected. And, you know, usually my reactor is in the very back, so if something happens to the back, the front is fine, so it'll just have uh, emergency power until it can get somewhere safe. 
And I find that's a pretty good strategy. You want to just have one of any everything. Like even if you're, if it's like at 200% power, you you'll still be able to move, which is all you need. Can't get in there. We're at 30 minutes. Oh, it's almost done. You just gotta put these two <laughs> little things. I basically just gotta make the top and bottom rounded, and that's it. If you wanna help, you can do that. The back is just gonna be flat, because I can't really think of anything to put back there. Can they do it? Why is everything vomit? Nope. I don't know if uh, handheld welders will hurt you, but uh, ship welders will hurt you, so uh, be careful of oh. those. I, uh, I do the thing where I actually leave my grinders and welders set to on instead of holding down to use them. And I've actually walked into them plenty of times, and oh. it hurts. <laughs> and I, other than the worst paint job you've ever seen in your life, I think what? we're actually, I think we're actually done. Nice! I like it. So, uh, would you like to give it a name? Or do you um, want me to? I'll let you name it, I but, call uh, this, I'll I, separate I, it from the base. Okay, I hereby declare this the Clown Frog, and it will remain this color. There you go, you're separate, you want to give her her inaugural takeoff? Okay, please don't explode. <laughs> That's my uh, my mantra every time nice. I get a ship. That uh, is beautiful. That's all I have to say. Yep. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a little bit over power usage, but the cool thing is, if it goes over power usage, it uh, nothing bad happens. It just is true. won't go as fast as it can. I'll, well, actually, there is still some stuff we got to add to it. But the ship's done. We just gotta put landing gears and uh ore detector on it. That's it. We'll do that later. Nice. Well, sorry folks for going over a little bit for having a longer episode, but I think it was well worth it. Look at that beautiful, beautiful ship. And I imagine in the next episode, uh, we'll get some good mining done though. We kinda have everything we need right now. Before I forget to I'm gonna dump all my stuff back in the uh container because I I am full and I don't want to yeah. lose everything. Oh wait, I... access to denied, make sure oh, you set it yeah. to forgot all about that. I did the same thing because I was afraid um, now that you had a mining ship you might come mine my head and get back <laughs> at me. Well, you better mine your own business, pal. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, actually. <laughs> um, okay, apparently I'm not doing this right. Uh, you just Large cargo container. And... There we go. Share with my faction. Okay, okay good. Now I can use it. But yeah, so I think uh, we've we recorded three videos in a row, and I think we're just going to you know, put those up and have maybe a little bit of a break. So if you want to uh, leave us a comment telling us something we should do uh, before we start recording again, now would be the time. Otherwise, yes. it may be a few videos later where we finally get it and can put your suggestion into place. All right, so yeah, we just to remind everybody, we have basically two things going on right now. We are Our main goal is to make a capital ship that has everything we need in it and everything all the luxuries we would want to basically live in for the rest of our days and we also have that little asteroid over there that has the already pre-built mine into it and we uh, we asked whether we should yes. do anything with that use it for a base who knows build in it build on top of it build under it uh, so yeah just uh, consider that and let us know and uh, hopefully by the time we make the next one you will have seen this and told us yeah, I never actually changed my player color. I forgot to do that. There you go. That's better. All right. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, once again, you can find a link to Red Talon's channel if you want to see his Space Engineer stuff in the description. And, uh, yeah, comment. Uh, we love that, and we will... <laughs>
if you'll listen to it, and we will respond, and all that fun stuff. And if you do like the series, uh, just uh, you're logged in, give it a like real quick. That'll help it show up in search results, and also kind of let us know if we should continue putting these up or not. Oh, no! <laughs> He's trying to kill me! And with that, I am going to end the episode. Goodbye. Say goodbye, Red Talon. Ah! <laughs> See ya! <laughs>